G'day beautiful people. In this video I am going to be painting the bus roof. Now this video is actually part two of the roof painting job. I posted the part one video a few weeks ago and in that video I showed how I basically prepped the roof before painting. So I gave it a really good clean, had to scrub it quite hard to get some stuff off that was on the roof. And then I painted the entire roof with Penetrol. Now because Penetrol is an oil based product, and the stuff that I'm going to be painting the roof with is water-based. I had to wait a full two weeks for the Penetrol to fully cure before I could start the painting. So we're two weeks yesterday since I put the Penetrol on. And so it's time to get painting. Now the paint that I'm going to be using is this stuff. It's called Thermashield and it is an insulating heat reflective paint. It's produced here in Australia. Apparently similar technology to the paint that's used on on the uh, space shuttle to help protect it from the heat on re-entry um, so yeah it's good stuff a lot of people put this on the roof of their buses and it really does help to reflect the heat and keep the inside temperatures a little bit cooler now I have actually used this stuff before I painted the roof of my first bus with Thermashield and I actually did a couple of videos on that um, as well. So if you go back a couple of years on my channel you'll be able to see those videos. And I really did notice a difference after I painted the roof of that first bus. So it does work um, and I'm keen to get it on the coaster roof as well. So this is a 4 litre tub. I've actually got two of these so I've got 8 litres in total and that should give me plenty of paint enough to do at least 5 full coats on the bus roof. And the more coats of this stuff you can do the better it works. So I'm hoping to get at least five coats on. Now I've actually had this Thermashield paint for well over a year. I intended to paint the bus roof a long time ago but I ended up putting it off for various reasons. I wanted to uh, get the bus registered and certified as a motorhome as soon as possible and so I decided to spend last year focusing on doing that. The shelf life of Thermashield is supposedly only 12 to 18 months but the guys at Thermashield say it can last for up to two years if it's stored properly so if the tub hasn't been opened and it's been stored in a relatively cool environment. Now I've had my paint mostly inside the house this whole time so not really subject to the intense heat of summer um, and if I shake the tub it does sound pretty liquid inside so it doesn't sound like it's gone off so hopefully it'll be okay we're about to find out so this is what the roof currently looks like after I painted it with the Penetrol. You'll see there's actually two different colours here and that's because the first bit of the roof I painted using Penetrol that I had left over from when I did the floor frame quite a while ago and I suspect that the Penetrol that was left in the old tin was a bit contaminated with some old paint or something and so it's left that reddish tint on the roof. So yesterday I did a couple of test patches with the Thermashield paint. I painted one section over the new Penetrol and I also painted some over where I'd used the old Penetrol just to make sure that both were going to work okay. And the paint does seem to have stuck really well so I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think the, even the old Penetrol will be just fine underneath there. And this is what the Thermashield paint looks like. It doesn't look like it's gone off at all so even though it's almost 18 months old it still looks pretty good. So let's get painting. Okay, so this is what it looks like after the first coat. It's not too bad. So I'm pretty happy with how it's gone on so far. I'm still getting issues with bugs. <laughs> this same thing happened last time I used the Thermashield paint on my first bus. I found that 
it attracted a lot of bugs. I thought it was because the paint was such a bright white, but the guys at Thermashield told me that it's actually also to do with the uh, chemicals and the substances that are in the paint itself. Some of them are actually attractive to bugs, which is why you do get quite a few bugs uh, sticking to it. But this is actually not too bad compared to the first um, bus I painted, so I'm pretty happy. And this whole roof will be covered with solar panels, so by the time it's finished you won't even really be able to see this paint. I'm purely doing it for functional reasons rather than aesthetic. It's primarily to reflect the heat off the roof uh, and keep the temperatures inside a bit cooler is the reason I'm doing it. So I'm not too concerned with how it looks, um, but so far it's coming up pretty well. So this is the first coat. Uh, I've got probably at least three, maybe four more coats to go. Here's a tip if your paint job's going to last over several days. If you wrap the roller in cling wrap and store it in the fridge until you're ready to use it next time, it helps to keep the paint moist and fresh. And it means the next day when you want to use it, you just take the cling wrap off and you're good to go again. I'm using a 9mm nap roller to paint on the Thermashield. It goes on really nicely and gives a nice little bit of texture to the paint as well that I quite like. I also found it really helpful to use a paintbrush just to paint the edges along where the gutters were because even with using a smaller size roller, I found it was just too tricky to get the roller close enough to the gutters and using the paintbrush just meant that I could paint right up to the edge of where the gutter line was and get better coverage. And I also used the paintbrush to paint inside the channel that runs the length of the bus roof just above where the gutters are because again it was a little bit tricky to get the roller to paint neatly in this groove. Well I have finally finished painting the thermoshield on the bus roof. Oh my goodness, what a mammoth job. <laughs> it took me almost two weeks to paint five coats on the roof. The reason being is I can only really paint one coat per day because I need to wait until at least 11 o'clock in the morning for the morning dew and the condensation that's on the roof overnight to fully evaporate and for the roof to dry enough for me to start the painting. And then each coat of Thermashield needs at least six hours to cure. Uh, so I only get one coat done per day and I managed to get three coats on the roof and then had to take a break because it was a bit showery and um, not very good weather for painting. So anyway, <laughs> I finally managed to do it. I've got five full coats on the roof. I've actually got enough Thermashield paint left to maybe stretch it out to do another coat but to be honest I am totally over the painting and I think five coats is more than enough so I'm just going to leave it at that. Now I'd love to be able to say that that's the end of the job and I'm finished with the roof painting but I actually need to paint two coats of a clear glaze over the top of the Thermashield. Now it's not essential that you do this, you can just paint the Thermashield on and leave it at that but the manufacturers do recommend that you paint a clear glaze over the top, just helps to provide a bit of extra protection for the Thermashield, um, makes it easier to clean as well if you ever need to clean the bus roof and I did that with the first bus so I'm going to do it again with the coaster and this is the stuff um, it's just a generic it's, it doesn't have any particular branding on it it's just a generic water-based clear glaze um, that I got from the people that sold me the Thermashield paint so it's the clear coat that they recommend and this little tub uh, is supposedly enough to do two coats on the coaster roof um, so I'm going to use a roller the same way that I painted on the Thermashield except for the clear glaze I'm going to go with a finer roller. I'm going to use a four millimeter nap roller um, for this stuff and hopefully that'll give me a nice finish. So two coats of this and then I'll be able to say that the roof is finished. <laughs> so this is the glaze 
it's thicker than I remember it from last time so I hope it's still okay I've had this for the same amount of time that I've had the Thermoshield paint I have no idea what the shelf life of this stuff is but anyway I'll give it a bit more of a stir and hopefully it'll be okay to use so the glaze is going on okay so I think it's still all right I always find it a bit trickier to paint the clear coat compared to the Thermoshield itself because it's a lot harder to see where you've been but anyway, just going to do the best I can and hopefully it will look alright when it's all finished. Well, there it is guys, the finished roof. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's not perfect. If you get up close to it, you'll see that there's a lot of bugs and little bits of dust and things stuck in it. It's a bit hard to paint when you're outside and subject to the elements. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And like I said, most of this roof is going to be covered with solar panels and a deck and you won't even see it. As long as it helps to keep the inside of the bus cool, then I'm happy. And I have to say, from a distance, it does look pretty schmick. Well, there you have it. The bus roof is done. <laughs> it's certainly one of the bigger jobs in this whole bus build and one that I'm really not keen to have to do again. <laughs> so fingers crossed, this is the last time. So I can finally tick this job off my list and move on to the next one. If you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment below if you've painted your bus roof with Thermoshield. I'd love to hear your experience. Um, if you've got any questions, please again, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.